Back in 75, my land was uh, a neighborhood with quite a few working class immigrants. A lot of Greeks were in this neighborhood and it was easier for them, I guess, knowing more people their own language lived in the neighborhood. I was born in Montreal and my parents come from uh, Greece. My parents were working uh, at home as home workers in the textile, so I grew up in the textile industry. Between 1945 and 1971, uh, approximately 1.2 million Greeks left from Greece. Out of that 1.2 million people, approximately 120,000 came to Canada. We estimate around 50 to 60,000 those who arrived in Montreal. They reached in the 1960s uh, massively what is known as the My Land Area. Park Avenue was sort of their main street. It showed it was a very narrow corridor. Hutchison was very Greek, Park was very Greek, and east of Park Avenue streets like Jeanne Mans, Esplanade, Waverly were strongly Greek. You know, it was some kind of ghetto because they were newcomers, so they wanted to live close to each other. For many immigrant women from this community, they were sewing at home, you know, doing what we call in French travail aux pièces for the garment industry. East of Boulevard Saint Laurent was the center of the garment industry in Montreal until the uh, late 1980s. Uh, the Peck building is the early one. It's on the corner of Saint Laurent and Saint Viateur. It was called the Peck Clothing Factory. It opened in 1904. And the uh, Peck building today is Ubisoft, the French uh, video game multinational. So the computer replaced the sewing machines. My father was a shepherd, uh, was, was, my, was my grandfather, and uh, well, my mom left at 14, so when she left at 14, that's when she came to Montreal and learned, uh, became a seamstress. Well, when they came here, it was, obviously the days were rough, so my mom was still working as a seamstress. My father, eventually he got into the textile industry, so he was working as a spreader at a factory on Saint Laurent Street. And two, three months later, they found their own apartment, uh, which is Esplanade in Fairmount, where we grew up. We had at least 15 families on our street that were Greek. I remember playing with them. It was like a small community, a small little village within a big city. That's the sentiment you had back in, that I remember growing up here. In my high school years, we went to Collège Français. Uh, it was convenient, it was next to, it was next to our, our home. So in the morning, go to school, come back home around 3.30 eat a brief lunch, go to do my homework, and then I would start work at Delphi uh, at five. So for me, working at, at Delphi was, was uh, I guess, the way of asserting myself. I used to call it the triangle. We, just, we had stayed in the neighborhood. Well, it got gentrified. That was the first wave of gentrification that I believe. Obviously, rents were higher, so I, I did feel at that point where like I said, a lot of our friends had moved away, so I kind of felt a little bit lost within the neighborhood. We were supposed to leave to go to Laval too. Like my parents had bought a home over there. That summer, my mom had thrown her back for three months, so we decided not to. My parents decided to wait a year, but then he realized that uh, we were in Montreal. We knew three languages. Uh, we did well in school. I think that was the year where he actually realized that. Well, I don't think he ever made a suitcase after that. Like in 2004, quotas had opened up with China. Uh, so the big manufacturers, what they did is they started importing directly uh, finished goods from, from the Orient, which made the majority of the factories uh, in Montreal one by one slowly close down. The one manufacturer we were working with, who I would say 65 to 70% of our business was with, had already planned ahead and was importing his goods in. I had not told my dad, about three weeks within, into January, I had gone up to the Chaminal area and I had seen a container with the pants that we used to do religiously for him for the past, I don't know how many years. So I had gone upstairs and seen him and his first reaction was, how'd you see the pant where it should have been, sorry, we have no more work for you. So it was difficult a few years after that. I mean, we all uh, worked together as a team. We had to lay off a, few, a bit of staff. It took some, I would say about two years to readjust. 
Well, my brand is called Luca Jeans. My idea was I wanted to have local production, so I wanted to be able to control my own production, and I wanted the sourcing also to be uh, North American. Ideally, initially it was Canada, but then realizing without throughout the years that a lot of the bigger mills had closed. Uh, so then all our uh, matière première comes from North America. I wanted my name to be written in Greek. Uh, it was important for me. Um, in hindsight, I realized in the beginning stages, a lot of people couldn't read what was written. So I, I remember a few people telling me there's difficulty, you know, people with their recognition, if they actually will recognize the brand with the way it's written, because a lot of people cannot read what's written. And I told them, well, eventually with time, people will, will be able to recognize it and read it. It's nice to have the mixture of both, I find, to remember what use, what was, what currently is, and what I like to see is what is it eventually going to, how is it going to be in 20 years. I, especially Fairmont Street, there's quite a few businesses that have been here, aside from Moleskins and the bagel shop. I'm talking about the daycare, I'm talking about the, the bakery, uh, Kamenitsa, that has been there for, for years, which is the, uh, it's a bakery, and they've opened up a little coffee shop in the front. Bushli uh, Shevito, uh, there were still family friends of ours, so we're still, you still had some point repair in the neighborhood. Well, I think the past 10 years, for me personally, the Myland has become again family. There is a sense of community. I like the vibe. I think it's a good place for my kids to grow up safe. Well, it's home. <laughs>